Hello everyone, this is Nicole Hines and today I want to show you what you should do on your first tour of Remind Docs. From the LVR dashboard, you're going to click on the icon that says Remind. That will take you to Remind Pro, the dashboard for Remind Pro. And you're going to go over to the column on the left. This is a menu and you're going to slide down to where it says Remind Apps. And right below that, you'll see Docs. That's where we want to be to put our transactions together and send out um, contracts for signing. In the middle of this page, you can see you have two options. You have create a transaction or upload a file. We're not going to go there right yet because we want to get our preliminary work in place so the program is ready for us to use. Let's quickly look at this column here. We have the dashboard, which we're on right now, a button for my transactions, one for the package library, which is your set of forms for each transaction that the office puts in for you ahead of time. You can create your own packages as well. The form library, that would be um, consist of your LVR forms. The clause library, you can add your own clauses. Um, if you find there's certain verbiage you use a lot, you might want to put that in there. We will have some clauses in there for you as well. The checklist library, my submissions we're not using because our office does not submit paperwork through Remind Docs. We submit it through Real Smart Agent. So this you won't need. Settings, which we're going to come back to in a minute. Pro takes you back to the Remind Pro page, the main page. There's a guided tour here. Feel free to click on that and check things out. Support button, and then it'll identify whose account you're in, and it should be your own, of course. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to settings. On settings, the first thing you'll notice is um, Doc's email. This should be the email that you use in MLS um, or the email that you want your documents sent to, okay? And, and there will be a setting for that a little further down. Um, the other thing over right in this area that we want to look for is the time zone. Make sure you're set for the right time zone. If you're not, you can hit edit and select the correct time zone. I am in the Pacific time zone, so I'm going to confirm that. Over here, you can see I've already set up my signature and initials. If you don't have yours set there, you are going to want to hit on the button to either set it or edit it. You can type it in. Um, because mine was already typed, I'm just going to cheat and click right on the little icon there. But otherwise, you could type right in here, okay? Pick the font that you want to use. And you have to select, um, check the box that says, I have read, understand, and agree to reminds compliance and e-signing overview. Check that box and then hit Create. And that is it. That is the signature and initial stamp that will be used when you are signing um, in your signing sessions. Now we want to slide down here to account preferences. And I recommend that you check these first three boxes. These are going to send you alerts by email every time a document is shared with you, the summary of the send to sign sessions that you sent out documents um, to people to sign. You'll get a summary of what happened and every time a recipient has opened your email. The smart alerts preference I leave off. I found it annoying um, because it gave too many alerts. If I'm sending a contract off for a buyer to sign, the seller hasn't even seen the offer yet, of course it's gonna have missing signatures because it hasn't been sent to the seller. And it kept giving me alerts for that and it really kind of threw me, so I did not like that feature. Go ahead and try it if you want and then you can choose whether you want it on or off. Client communication, mine is off right now until I get a little more familiar with Remind Pro and want to invite all my clients to it. So right now I have that off. But if you're already familiar with Remind Pro, you may have yours set at on. That's great. So that's what you need to do to get set up in Remind Docs. And I'm going to click on these um, one more time here just to go through and show you what each page looks like. There's our dashboard. When you click on my transaction, there's a list of your transactions. And notice over here, it does show you a signature has changed. 
that's when you have when a signing has occurred it'll say signature change package library in the package library and the clause library you won't see anything unless you click on this more groups button and then you'll see the home smart encore listing and if you click there you'll see the packages that we have put in for you under form library that's your las vegas realtors forms if we double click there you'll see all the las vegas realtor forms clause library this one if you don't see anything you're going to click on more groups and home smart encore checklist library again under more groups home smart encore and then you'll see the checklist just in case you want to look at them they're there my submissions we don't use because that's only for companies that are submitting their docs to their broker through remind we don't do that settings is what we toured to set up your signature and initial and um, make sure your settings are all correct pro took you back to remind pro and that's it your guided tour your support and we'll, the it shows you here whose account you're in of course i'm in my account if you hit on support this is um the options you have um for support and this doesn't even show the chat option here i do know the only way you can contact remind for help is either by emailing them or by going to the chat so now let me go back here and I don't see any way of getting into chat in here. So what I had to do to go to chat was I had to click on pro and then click on this question mark here in the bottom right corner, slide this bar down and it says connect with us. If you click there, the chat will open up. And you can go ahead and um, say, ask whatever you want to ask. Get in touch means they'll get you an agent. Um, I would put a question in first and then hit get in touch. Um, just so they know what you're, at, you're inquiring about. Okay, that is it for today. Um, if you're ready to start a transaction, go on to one of the um, videos in the list. And they are all titled with what they show you to do. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.